And welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM. And today we're going to take a look at what happened after the winter transfers. Um, just to review the um, the way the league has gone as well. So we started off quite badly, really, really stuck down into the relegation zone. Then we found a bit of a run of form, especially after this Carabao Cup fourth round against Everton, where I, this is the match that I changed the tactics a tiny bit just to make us um, focus more on shooting on on site, essentially. Uh, so hitting early crosses, shooting on site, chasing the ball at the front, kind of pushing the pressure up up the pitch a little bit. And we that really worked, and we had a, a run of form, especially for the Premier Division, where we won uh, five games uh, consecutive. We actually had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 games without a loss consecutive so that was that was really good we ended up losing in the quarterfinal to Arsenal on penalties so that was gutting because we were so close to that semi-final um, and then we started the FA Cup we are through to the fifth round against West Ham that's going to be our um, toughest match, match so far for the FA Cup the first two were fairly simple against Bristol City and Norwich and uh, yeah so we we dipped in form a little bit we lost about three matches since uh, since the winter break um, the winter tra transfer windows I'm, I mean um, so yeah we need to find our form back to continue to climb up uh, to the top of the table not the top like just the top half um, yeah and the next game is against Millwall we are currently in 13th we had a, a dip uh, sorry a, um, a climb up to 12th and we've been thereabouts 11th once but yeah stabilized on 13 for the last few weeks now if we take a look at the transfers we only had two um, we had Marcel Caput, is a central midfielder. Uh, just a little bit of an improvement that we needed. I just needed something fresh for that. He's actually still recovering from fitness. I, think, I mean, still recovering from injury. And this is going to be his first match. So this is... We're going to see how he fits into the system. He's, he doesn't have any match fitness yet. So it will be his first match after injury. And then we have Iroki Harada who is our new uh, non-nonsense centre-back defender. Um, and yeah, he's not been doing too badly, I guess. Um, but well, as a whole, we haven't been doing too good in the last two games. So, so yeah, we're just still waiting to see how we will uh, fare with us. And they replaced... So, Japanese for Japanese. So, uh, Hikori for um, Yoshinuri. Who went back to his old club we made a tiny profit on him about five million it's not tiny really if you think about grand scheme of things in this club but he went back to the same club after playing uh, 20 matches for us this season with one assist and then actually I was a bit gutted about Christian but he's just he just didn't develop as much as I was hoping um, 20 year old Uruguayan he was even amongst the top 50 um, one of the kids in the world but he just didn't develop he just stayed the same he actually did quite well for us this season at the start of the season um, and he, he scored quite a few goals for us uh, but uh, if you go back to the history because this, this is Cardiff yeah so Hereford 17 appearances 6 goals with 2 assists and 1 player of the match so he started really well and then when the whole team actually started coming together and winning games he dipped so something happened where you know the whole team was doing better but he was doing worse than the rest of the team when actually at the start of the season he was the one scoring all the goals so obviously whatever changes we made sort of changed the game around him which meant that other people were scoring but he wasn't so so there we have um so those were the two changes that we did uh, no other changes. Finances are looking healthy. Uh, I don't really have anything I can ask for. Oh, uh, transfer budget. Yeah, well, it's not really worth it because it's not really worth it to be honest. Uh, unless it affects next year's 
in some sort of roundabout way. The youth teams, uh, same as always, so the uh, under 21s are trailing kind of towards the bottom end of that table and the under 18s are doing a bit better. So following the, the, the similar trends from, from this year, from, from the last few years, I mean. Um, okay, they've lost in the cup and in the division cup and the under 21s are still playing in the group cup but they're at the bottom so they're going to be knocked out okay so both teams also losing in their cup competitions as well um nothing much to say other than the 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 team is slightly upset because they wanted a new striker in fact i did put in a bid for a new striker but the striker that I put in a bit for ended up injuring himself and then the, he didn't pass the medicals. So so that was a bit upsetting, but we did have nearly a new striker on the books. But uh, yeah, something to look at for next year now. Um, there's no need for us to look into it. Um, might even be able to get someone else better than um, next year. The prediction... Uh, sorry, the, the the board, not the prediction, was it called? Uh, expectation. The expectation from the board has been upgraded to finish, finish in the top half. Uh, which, I don't know if we'll be able to do. We're trying, we're trying our best. And let's play the next match and hopefully we can get the better of Millwall. Our youth intake... Preview has been announced and it's looking pretty good. Obviously, it's been improved. the The youth facilities and the youth recruitment has been improving over the last few years. Um, so it's now youth recruitment is now exceptional, which I promised I was going to look into, and uh, I'll do that while the game plays. Um, so if I go on to here. Um. So we're looking for youth facilities, youth recruitment, exceptional. Yeah, so we we have um, topped. The, the most we can get for youth recruitment so now we are exceptional we also have exceptional coaching so that is the most we can get for youth recruitment youth coaching which means that the youth players that come to us they are the best we can possibly get and they have developed um, the most they can at a youth level so they should be better youth players but also more developed youth players as far as youth training facilities, we only have, I think, superb. It might be even excellent. So we have a couple of levels to go on that still to improve. We do have state-of-the-art training facilities. So um, once uh, once we improve our youth training facilities, then we'll have matched and, and maxed out all of the top levels for facilities. And then the only other thing to work out on uh, in terms of um, facilities is the actual stadium. So at the moment we are waiting uh, for plans to be finalized on a potential 2,000 seat expansion. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. Obviously we need a lot more than that. 8,000 uh, 8, 8, 8, seats in total is not really good enough for our level I think it's 8.5 thousand and um, that the planning is in for it hasn't been finalized so it's not really detailed yet in our uh, facilities um, page
So we have been challenging some of the bigger teams as well. Uh, we had a few wins against some of the bigger teams and also uh, some draws as well. The latest one was a draw against Chelsea. I think we won against Liverpool. Um, yeah, so we are starting to chip away at the larger teams a little bit. I'm a bit concerned with this 1-0 down against Millwall. Hopefully it's just a one-off. We are generally doing a lot better now. And I'm hoping we can take us as far as possible into the FA Cup as well as, as an extra, extra income source. Yeah, they are putting a lot of pressure on us. Lots of shots. I have debated whether or not I should change my formation to going from five defenders to only four defenders. And just a traditional sort of defense back four. Uh, no inverted fullbacks or anything like that. And then sticking an extra midfielder. But I'm just a little bit afraid of what that, what consequences that might have. It would be a way more traditional to play with, but um, the, the, I don't know how it would go down with um, the players and against uh, some of the teams that we have to come against. Okay, so let's get this guy out. Essentially, I go for uh, the yellow cards as well. Tends to be my, one of my main concerns. Get the yellow cards out, and then that way we can focus on having a clean slate. No red cards, no second yellows. That's the aim. Yeah, and other than that, it's quite a quiet episode, isn't it? Um, other than that, in real life, the Euros are going on and England's going to play Spain tonight. So that's why I'm recording this episode, so I can enjoy the rest of the evening watch the game. Good luck to both. I'm slightly partial to Spain, actually, but yeah, good luck to both. And um, um, yeah, so just going to carry on playing until the summer and see where we get. Uh, my aim was always to like reach top half the season and then next season try to go for European places so that in the f what I think might be a final season uh, we play in the, the um, uh, in some sort of European European competition that would be the aim I'd like to do that before we start playing the beta whenever it comes out but I'm suspecting it will come out mid October. So we'll see how many more seasons we can squeeze out of uh, Football Manager 2024. And I think I've decided that for the beta, I'm actually going to try the women's leagues for the actual beta period. And then once the full game is released, I will go back to my typical Hereford save. But yeah, so it will be exciting to play that beta because, you know, I'll be trying to do something I've not done before, so trying some of the new features they might have. I don't even know what women's leagues they'll release, or even if they'll re release women's leagues in the beta. They might be reserved for the full full release. Um, I suspect they want to test them, so I suspect there will be at least a few of the leagues released. I don't see any reason for all of them to be released um, in the beta, to be fair. 
but I just don't know how many they will actually be in the game. If it will be for every single country, uh, or if it will be just for a few countries. Um, I guess it will depend largely on the um, research they've, they've been able to do. Obviously, they'll want to have real players, um, and I know they've only employed a head of research quite recently. I don't know if they were doing research before that, but they have only employed a head of research for women's football, I think, uh, maybe about a year ago. So I don't know how many leagues they'll actually have access to in terms of um, being able to have real life players in there. Okay, this was a bit of a, uh, you know, a, a bad game against Millwall, but we'll, we'll bounce back from it, I'm sure. And we don't have many games left to play. We'll carry on playing. Obviously, there's also the FA Cup to play for, so hopefully we'll get a, a good match against West Ham and, 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 and move past them, I hope, for at least one more round. Um, and then we'll see where the um, league ends. Thank you so much for watching until the end. We only have a few minutes left of the match, but I don't think the scoreline is going to change all that much. And um, also, if you are still um, looking to support the channel, there's the Patreon page where you can name Anujan and we'll follow them um, across all the saves. And uh, it doesn't matter if you name, if you become a member now, um, whenever I move on to the, the new game, I'll also do the same. So your membership just kind of carries over. So I'll just pick a new Nugent then. Um, yeah, so if you want to support the channel, that's a brilliant way of doing it. And then we can name it after you and we can follow it along um, as the, uh, the game simulates across the years. But yeah, thank you so much for watching until the end. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.